Hey there guys and welcome back to the hamster cage. Today we are going to be dipping our toes into Grom the Paunch. He is by far one of my most favourite green skin factions to play with. I just really like the underdog coming out on top, basically. Um and he, he's just he's just a little goblin. He's just a little goblin. Just doing little goblin-y things. And we're going to... Uh, we're going to crush our enemies. <laughs> With Grom. Grom the paunch. Uh, let us get chat up. There we go. Nice la. Right, so... Let's quickly take a look at the settings. As per usual, we're going to be playing this on Legendary and very hard. Uh, we're not going to up the oh, Ultimate Crisis mode. Okay, we're not really with the ultimate crisis mode, because uh, Grom, I, I just love Grom. So we're going to go on legendary, um, super hard, etc, etc. Okay, so Grom the Paunch is a huge and powerful lump of a goblin warboss. A superlatively sized individual whose looming presence and ferocity make him a living god amongst other goblins. His uh, prestigious size... Uh, was caused uh, by him once having consumed a portion of uncooked troll meat, an act of gluttony that means he must relentlessly eat copious amounts of food to keep constantly digesting the regenerating flesh, lest his massive, protruding belly eventually bursts. <laughs> it is said that Grom has not seen his legs since consuming the foul meat. Yet, his frightening size means that he no longer needs to, and can, instead, order others to see them for him for his wishes. Following countless successful raids on the old world, his grandiose reputation has grown as much as his bloated frame. In the past, Gromswar had seen hundreds of different greenskin tribes flock to his standards, held aloft by his night goblin standard bearer, Niblet. Oh, he's got Niblet. In battle, the self-styled Goblin King often rides with his attendants upon a chariot, suitably sized for an expansive for his expansive proportions. Charging into battle with a devastating momentum only achievable due to his obscene weight. Love it. Love it. So he's gonna get his cauldron. His cauldron is insanely good. I love his cauldron. It's a really good mechanic. Interesting mechanic as well. Um, recruitment for goblins, minus one, fantastic. Extra 10 leadership when fighting elves. 10% physical res resistance for goblin units in, in his army, so we're going to get a bit of a crap stack going. 50% um, reduction for chariot and pump wagons, meh. <laughs> and he's got a special war that gives you regeneration. Let's go, let's do this. Orcs, 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 orcs. So one of the biggest pluses of orcs is that you can confederate everyone very, very easily. You just need to kill their um, main general. And you can take over all of their armies, which is great. So we're going to play a bit of Pokemon with this. We're going to be uh, after Grimgore. We're going to be going after... Um, Scar Snitch, if he survives. We're going to be going after um, the big one with the wiring. Wurzag. There we go. And Azag as well. No, Azag's the one with the wiring. Wurzag's the uh, uh, the magic user. It's very good for us to actually get Wurzag because he strips magic resistance, which makes him really good against the wolves. 
You going to help Grom conquer the world or what? So the way I like to play uh, orcs is just not really doing much with them until you get a while going. And then in the 20 turns that you got a while, you just destroy everything. So we're just going to use the artillery to focus down their archers. <clears throat> Whilst we send these two up here. It's a lot harder to hide them in forest now. There's 12 of them. We'll just wait until they start marching towards us. There we go. So we're going to use our trolls to take out the uh, the Knights of the Realm. It should be pretty easy. Uh, we're going to send Grom and his cart buddies over to take out the rest of the archers. Oh, really? Horses have decided that they want to come after us. Sure, is he going off? Are they going after Grom or? Okay, that's fine. So we just send Grom over here, send these guys over here, attack him into there. Let's go. I don't want her to vomit on them. Trying this cycle charge on trolls. Yep, that'll work. Right. Hey. This 
Okay, she's not in range. Pukey pukey. Pretty simple. Well, do. Sixty three gobos lost. Sad times. To pieces. They're actually coming over to attack us. That's quite bossy. Whoa, 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 why are you moving? Just, just shoot. Seventeen kills already. Let's go. Yeah, okay, it's got their attention. That's good. Should be nice and easy to take them out then. Or are they doubling back? the other arches. Oh, 
So we might get overwhelmed on this right flank here, so let us just move the light right over. Careful of what those archers are going to do at the back there. Yeah, they're rallying, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. The leaders are running already. One already. See how many we killed before. Pretty fast. Go, 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 go. Trolls are smashing it. So this is now going to be our sack city. We're just going to sack it and sack it and sack it and sack it until we get our wild going. Goblins. Torturer. Tough. Here we go for Torturer. Because we can do a lot of raiding with this guy, so it's only going to help destroy our enemies. Let's start buffing these goblins up. Get some replenishment going. Plus two control. Get the wild going. Nice and simpler, the dwarves, no diplomacy needed. You're either at war with them, or you live long enough to see yourself become at war with them. 
That's how it is with the orcs. The other thing with the orcs, you'll never have a positive in income. Or at least you're not supposed to. You alright, buddy? Our world's gonna be dropped! Draw always wins! Remember it! Cool. Thou widest! So we give her the head in the jar. Rabbits of Rob. The tribe's ready. Leadership's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that one first. We'll get the scrap. Get the scrap upgrade. And then we're good to go. Why, hello, BGD. Oh. Just read your message, and I'm sorry to hear that. Grows bigger than ever. <laughs> that voice. Um. That gets dead. So we need a hundred scrap. Minus eight leadership. Wow, let's put it on these guys. What's it broken? The Goblin King! Uh, this guy, I think that's that's enough to defend the massive Oracle. So what we can do now is just do a little bit of raiding. Only minus. What? Minus three, but he gives minus three, right? So it should be minus six. Is the AI cheating? Mm. Your voice compared to game volume is a little soft. It's understandable, but softer than the game uh, when they're really making noise. Huh. It's weird that you say that because I haven't changed any of my settings. So let me let me do the audios a little bit. I'll pop it down to twenty percent for the master. See if that makes a difference. Is that better? May just be that I'm not talking very loud today. I've got a I won't. <laughs> you saw my schedule today. I've been doing a lot of talking to people, so I might actually be losing my voice. Get. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, yeah. Get rid of these. Get rid of those nasty orcs. <laughs> Replace them with goblins. I've had enough rum to sing in front of people, so I'm probably just loud. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a good thing, though, right? I mean, rum's good, yeah. Yeah, we like the rum. I'm special. Oh, I'm special. We need to do that one day. We need to have karaoke night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Jump on the Discord. Have a little bit of a karaoke. I can regale you with my really bad uh, Evanescence impression. <laughs> okay, so we want to get sharp stabbers. We don't want to get sharp stabbers. Actually, no, yeah, we do, because what we're going to do is we're going to auto-resolve this. Then we're going to sack it. Then we've got 104 scrap. Which we can then use to do our first concoction. So what do we want? Let's give regeneration and growth in every province. The sloppy and the bad. Which gives us 154, which means that we can actually get sharper stabbers. How are they plus three? Oh, well. What's that building up there, army? That's good. Um... I mean, especially if I can sing and play my original songs for you. Your original songs. Oh, of course, yeah, you're a musician, aren't you? That'd be awesome. Uh, hell, I'll let you listen in on my next band practice if you want. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Actually, I'd, yeah, that'd be really cool to, to listen to that. Uh, Chico Blanco, my singer will make your ears bleed. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a, a Slipknot song. Uh, yeah, plus six attack for my goblins. That'll do. You should, uh, you should ring up Slipknot and be like, yo, I've got this really cool idea for a song. It's called My Karaoke Will Make Your Ears Bleed. They'll probably be all over that. Yeah, I definitely think my voice is uh, going today, D. I think it was 18 phone calls I made today to, to, to prospects of clients. Oh, and then we had a guild meeting this evening. Divine Betty. You'd want us. You'd want us not listening to my singing. <laughs> <laughs> that good, huh? <laughs> Ooh, hack march. Yes, yes, yes. Right. 
So before we go to the hag merchant, we have green spores, ocean clams, troll meat. Right. Give me, give me, give me. Spider egg yolk. Yep, I'll take that. So what does this do? Adds five life, uh, five lava arachnid units to your regiment's renowned uh, maternal instincts for Ragnarok spider units. Okay. Nothing, nothing particularly good then. <clears throat> well now, Chico, I have to hear it to judge myself. Have they decided that the blind girl would be the best possible DPS for raid? And I joke, I joke. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, uh, it may surprise you, we actually have a spreadsheet, a literal spreadsheet of everyone who wants to raid, um, so we've currently got, for Inequitum, which is our team, I think we've got 25 people that want to raid with us, which is frustrating to say the least, uh, because where the hell were they when we needed them? Um, but I've been given the task of recruiting uh, a resto shaman. Uh, I think we need a wind, uh, like a windwalker or a brewmaster, preferably a windwalker. I think we need a... I think we might need a demon hunter. I'm not too sure. Let's get some movement going. Wait us. Get her good at whacking people in the face. The I will say, if I'm tanking raid in two weeks as a tonky tonk, I will know every tactic in the raid within a week. Do you know what? Like, I swear, some of the mythic raiders that we have, or that I have seen, turn up without a clue of what to do on a raid boss. What's this guy doing? What are you doing, bro? Oh, you're running away from them. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I'd back off if I was you. Did you say Resto Shaman or Resto Drew? Resto Shaman. So basically what I was playing. Uh, but, I mean, to be fair... My, my Resto Shamaning was not the best in the world. For the wisdom of Valea, talk Are we at war with in your crude language if you must. I make no promises as to No we're not, okay. Grom Zapier in a cave. Grom the Slayer. Grom always wins. If this guy takes my sack city, I am not going to be happy. Ah, nuts. I could resto druid that to the max. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, we've got a, a, a resto druid called Mel. Um, she's very consistent, so. Well, well, if it ain't the gates. Well, well, if it ain't the gates. The foolishly declared war on Grom. The question is, do I want to take out the dwarves? Well, it depends what they're going to do here. What are they going to do? If you take this over, dude, 
I swear to God. <laughs> He's just getting bullied. A dwarven army getting bullied across the map. I can Preservation Invoker, Holy Priest, or Resto Druid. The rest of the healers, not so much. Hmm. Whole world's gonna be crumbs! That was it, boys. We'll have a day's kids for supper! Corpulent Majesty! Corpulent Majesty, right? We've got three hundred scrap, so let's start spending it. The Goblin King never loses. gold in our pockets whilst we're doing all of this. A dog barking at nothing again. Why, well, hello there. So, I think we need to take her out, that's for sure. We'll anger the gods. Right, what have you got in your army? Now! Anything you say. Come on, sweetheart. Let's rumble. Oh, you're actually going to let us attack you. Right, what we got here? Extra 30% speed. Takes up to 78, which means they can almost keep up with Grom. So the biggest thing that we need to worry about here is the trebuchet. Is it a trebuchet? Yes. Everything else is uh, pretty easy. For our gobos, they got regeneration, so they will out-combat any human. The only thing we need to worry about are these things here. These things can be quite, quite tasty. It's not enough range on our catapult. These guys are actually going to be a hide. 
Yeah, they're okay, they are. That's good. Let's see if we can get them moving towards us. No. Where is the trebuchet? There it is. So really what we want is we want this guy here attacking their trebuchet. Good, okay, so that made the trebuchet move. That's good, we like that. If the trebuchet is moving, it's not firing. That's what we want. Some good hits on that trebuchet. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that now. We're into the back. What are we? Where's that going? Where's that going? Oh, ouch. Hey boys, behind you. Pull her away from her armies. I'm pretty sure Grom could take her out. And she's not a good fighter, right? Okay, here they come. Time to throw up on them. And then, time to send in the giant. Hey boys. I hear you got some letters to post and you needed some stamps. <laughs> oh wow, they're getting trampsed. Oh, that's because they're there as well. Both of you need to get out. Yeah, that's fine. Come on. Problem is that they've increased Grom's weight, but he still can't get through horses. Biggest and the fattest. Whatever, just attack
just get out of there, bro. Why is he still fighting them? Get out! Go! Get away! Crazy. Grom's running away, so they've just left him. Okay, I'll take that. Funny if we lost Grom on the first fight that we had. Just, just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Tra la 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 la. Keep running. Are they following? They're still following. Go away. Go away, you nasty things. <laughs> so if we if we move Grom strategically, we should be able to get through here faster than they do, which may mean that we'll be able to hide in those trees. Yes, no, maybe. No. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Why? Why, 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 why? Yeah, run away. Run away. Run away. Good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Good. They're good. They're gone. That's fantastic. did not die and that's the main thing that we're taking away from this why Good, I need to send her over to here because they're going to need that leadership. Where are all the archers going? Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Oh, is she actually winning? Wow, she's actually beating the Enchantress. Go, Tiddle Muncher. Yeah, they're going to be too fast for us. Too fast for us, but there we go. Nice, easy win. Do these survive? Oh, there's only two of them left. Do they survive? And he didn't die. Yeah. Bit scrawny, but they'll do. Bit scrawny, but they'll do. Uh, casualty replacement rate? Less hit, yeah, like it. Uh. Let's get some underway defense. Uh, we should really send him over here to deal with those. And these guys here, let's give them physical resistance. Okay. Right, that's his army done. Well, go on. Everything Gary? Mm hmm, mm hmm. What'd you get up to today? Nice. Did you get any videos? Okay. Maybe another time. Are you off again tomorrow? Another strike? No. I'm not going to Oh, right, okay. Cool. Ooh, hack merchants there again. Right, let's take a look at what ingredients we've got. Troll meat, yeg yolk, ocean clams, spores. Me! Yeah, on it! I'll take the harpy heads. Where we were. Perceptive's good. Uh, what are we going to rename? Name this guy. Agent Triple Zero. There we go. Says what? 
and we'll have him running around checking out see what's going on hmm Skaven, huh? What brings them all the way out here? Make her a little bit faster. Yeah, we're going to use the underwear at some point. Fine. All right, let's see what we got going on around here. All right, I'm off. There it is. 5% physical resistance for goblins. And we are almost at a war, which means get a couple of nasty skulkers. world's gonna be drums. The tribe's ready. <laughs> this guy's getting seriously raided now. Oh, hello. Why, hello there. like the changing of the guard. <laughs> what you want? Just right, let's see what's going on around here. Before we start running in. Look at that, okay, there's another army sneaking up behind. This does just look like chaff though, so... Let's go and smash this. Really? You're running away? Under Grog's wheels! Grog's gonna conquer ah. his gates! Is that gonna be enough for useful. the war? Not quite. Nice bit of gold from raiding, though. We'll get Mither. The Goblin King never loses. Ransack the gates. I'm special. I'll move him to there. Let's 
seven turns left. What does this do? Plus ten ammunition for night goblins and increased number of projectiles. Ooh, we like a bit of the old harpy teeth, maybe. Yum! Get in Grom's gut! Corpulent Majesty! 42. 30. Wow! Look at the strength of these guys! 36! That's close to a uh, Chaos Dwarf blunderbuss. Yeah, we'll, we'll become friends with the rats, I think. We like the rats, yes, yes. Hello there, where are you going, Aquatine? Oh wow, the rats are everywhere. Bad job for the Gobo King! As you bitch were! That's crazy! Go get more clubs of dead! Smash it up, boys! Nice. Okay. Speeding through this. Let's see what our rat friends are going to want to do. Aquatane might actually want to attack me. I wouldn't recommend it, but they might. Yep, 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 yep. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh. Maybe not then. Right, it is war declaring time. Actually, no, it's not. Suck that. 
hide over here. This magic is real. And get some more goblins. In fact, I know we can only get global. Okay. Warlord Eternal. That I'll just keep living up, my guys. And think what we're going to do is we'll start moving south. Did they kill the Skaven? They must have killed the Skaven. Okay. Yes, boss. They they actually did kill. What, my little Skaven friends? What happened to you? You need me? <laughs> my Did you just get your ass handed to you? That's sad. That's real sad. We oh. shall avenge you, my little scurrying friends. been issued, mighty lord. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though, for while the potential rewards are great, so too are the perils. Yeah, not right now. Okay, um... So we will one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll do. And then we'll declare a war next turn. Gonna be Meanwhile. Stop this kid. We're I'll take five K for that. And we'll start taking territory. Now they'll see. So we block her. And hopefully we can run her down next time. Nope. <laughs> nope. So we gotta watch out for Mel Gibson. He's gonna he's gonna pop over at some point and try and try to kill us. Where is she going? 
the hell? Why, hello there, Mr. Echo. Gee, I wonder where he went into ambush. <laughs> I will struggle to find him. Extra speed for the cops. I just want to see where she's going. She's all the way over here. Nope. All right, there's there's the last armies. Okay. And he's ambushed there. Um, the tribe's ready. Oh, yeah. Let us retreat. Heal yes, up a bit. From the great and ratty. It's fifteen hundred for military access, and we can actually get more money off them. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. We got we got some friends. We got some ratty friends. Space goat needs sad panda keys. Goes out searching. We'll have you on. In the background there. Okay, that's cool. I um, I'd come and join you, but uh, I'm streaming. <laughs> Maybe after. Maybe after. We'll take the extra leadership. Let's come down here and see if we can take the walls out. Boom. Well done, buddy. You do something useful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Do I want to deny them a trebuchet? Do I care about denying them a trebuchet? Yeah, I might as well. Might as well. But I don't want to. No, it's not a case that I don't want to. It's because I'm actually streaming. If I wasn't streaming, I'd have come. Yep, 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 yep. Need to get some practice in on my warlock before the new thing yet, the stuff, and then this. Also need to research all of the new... Uh... Raid bosses. I just think we just 
pick a side and just charge. Yeah, I think we just pick this side and just charge forward. I don't think we need to do too much thinking. What I might do though, actually. Her in there, put this over here. Let's go for it, boys. Coming out? What? Are they high? Oh my days. Oh! Oh, these arrows are illegal. Holy cow. The damage that I just did, that's insane. They're actually running away. That's crazy. Uh, read and you listened and some of those bad boys seem pretty all right a lot of it is a uh, pure single target this uh, this raid tier which is why demonology warlocks are set to to currently be the best What is this army doing? Okay, let's do that instead then.
Oh, they're getting surrounded over here. This is not good. Oh yeah, boys! I already told you to get out of there. I mean, if you die, you die. Whatever. Where are they? Whoa, 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 why are they all the way up here? What the hell? Whatever. I mean, the only way we can kind of vaguely potentially save them now is by running them all the way up there. Leave these guys to heal up a bit.
Oh, the arrows are flying. Whoa! Cut down like butter. Oh, my days. Yeah, I wonder if you could just obliterate her with arrows. And the answer is... Oh! Yes! Consider yourself melted. Oh, wow. That's the army losses then. <laughs> oh, she just got obliterated by arrows. Oh no, we lost our silly pump wagons. Twelve chariots. Yeah, no. No. They were they were better as the four. But at least we can get Oh, we can actually get some um Skulkers. Yes, yes, yes. Skulkers are more useful than the pump wagons. Ooh, could start getting some night goblins. Let's 
take a look at the stats of our goblins at the moment, shall we? 41 melee, 34 defense, 80, 81 leadership, 50 armor, and they're anti large. Okay, so we'll send. Actually, to be f yeah, if we send Grom up here, then we'll send Morglus this way. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. How long have we been streaming for now? Hour and a half, okay. You got Grom's wife. There he is. Pointy-eared Mel Gibson. He doesn't like us apparently. That's a little confusing. I think you're in the wrong neighborhood there, my dear. Grom dreams of pulling you. Yeah, that's great. And Aquitaine's going down to the bottom to take out this, which is fine. Right. So we've got a lot to do here. Let's kill her. Many arrows. Well, to be fair, we can force them to attack us. She's only got power of darkness. No, nope. chill wind. Which doesn't really do much damage, and we've got regeneration, so we should be okay with that. Definitely don't want to control large army. Okay, let's do this. They're coming in from behind. <laughs> oh, 
Ha. How are they coming in from behind? Like, they think they should be coming in, like, over here somewhere. I'm so confused. I don't get why they're coming in from behind. Go forward, we might as well just ignore them. Just gotta really be a little bit careful with what goes on behind us. I think we're going to save the big boy for the reinforcements when they come in. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a bloodbath. The archers, why, why are you attacking foot troops? for the guys behind us.
Here comes Orion and his boyfriend. Alright, where's the Tittle Muncher? Get back here. I don't know quite what's going on there, but there we go. Can't click on the... Well, Tito Manchur, we need you. In... Well, let's see we kill him first. Let's go. Say hi to the big boy. Must be really sad being uh, elves and getting out archered by goblins. <laughs> Yo, Ryan, bro. I think you're dead. Hi boys. Keep them occupied back there, boys.
Is that it? Is that is that all of the enemy? Are we, are we good? Going over now. Nobody's letting you into keys. What? How comes? What's going on? What keys are you trying to do? My spate goes space goat mage. I don't think mages are ranked particularly good at the moment, are they? Or am I, or am I incorrect about Come that? On, then. Actually, do you have any Ryo on that character yet? Because if you don't, then it won't show the Ryo of your main. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Close victory, guys. Close victory. Two thousand one hundred are there, guys. 800, 5, 6, 7, 5, 6, 7, 8, 800 of ours. Close there, guys. Close. These goblin archers are just insane. Why do you only get one kill? How's this lazy get doing? My radio isn't high enough yet on this character for them to see. Oh damn. Oh damn. Well, let me get to, like, what turn are we in now? Hang on. Big scroll, mate, but they'll do. Let me let me get a few turns on and then I'll uh I'll, I'll jump on and give you a hand. Oh, Seventy two armor now. That's insane. To pieces. Go get more plots of dead. These gits are a waste of space. Dobbo King. Right, that showed them. Let's 
get some control going. Really? I mean, really? Did you really just... I... Wow. I don't know what their thinking was here. Maybe they were expecting... I don't know, something else. For us not to fight back? I, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know why they have decided to fight this. The AI is... Even in auto-resolve, we win it. So I don't... I don't, I don't quite understand what their thinking was behind this. Come to us, then we're gonna rush you, then we're gonna kill you. Go, go, go. Please. Just shoot him. Tittle Muncher is through. And so is Bob.
literally no idea what the AI was thinking about. Just try to outshoot a rush faction that's better at shooting than you are. Oopsie. You're a waste of space! Don't you dare. They died. Right guys, that's the first 20 turns done. I think we'll come back and we will finish this tomorrow, guys. We just declared our war. We've incapacitated the Wood Elves. <laughs> Look at that. Um, we've befriended our rat fens over here, the Skaven Blight. And now Grom is going to run up here, take uh, Paravon. And we're going to send this guy down here to take out uh, Breon and then up to Aquitaine. And then hopefully by the turn of the next 17 turns, we will have complete control over this faction, this, this area here. Um, from then on, next war, we'll probably look to declare it on Altdorf and then take out hot coal france um but yeah it, this is one of my favorite more favorite campaigns uh just generally because orcs are amazing anyway guys i'll catch you tomorrow enjoy the rest of your evening toodle pip